If you guys want to win more games, get innovative plays and updated game metas, then visit trythisplay.com and use code NOBLE at checkout for 10% off your purchases. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow Man of Soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is showing you how to power up or fully power up your team captain. Right now, I haven't even picked my team captain, so I'm going to do everything fresh. I'm going to figure it all out right now and show you guys how to do it. I got some training, so I'm going to see what he's going to need and so forth. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So here he is. I haven't picked him yet. I wanted to make sure that I did a video on it showing you guys step by step how to do it. I'm pretty sure some of you guys already know. I, I did open the pack, as you guys could tell. All right, so that animation is actually nice. So anyways, you get the pick either between Sean Alexander, Lance Alworth, John Lynch, and Jack Youngblood. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if Lance Alworth wasn't a decent receiver or, or a cowboy, I will go with Sean Alexander because I do need a decent halfback. I'm not tripping on a strong safety. Let's see this guy's stats real quick. I know I had him before. He, oh, whoa, whoa. 82 speed? Oh, yeah, never mind. I wouldn't be picking him. I'm thinking he wasn't. I know they're going to go up a little bit more, but not, they're not going to go up that much. Like Lance Alworth, right? Lance Alworth, he should be decent speed. And I'm a full. So he's 84, but he's going to go up to 88 speed, which is good. So, and then once I build the Dallas Cowboy theme team, he's going to be even to what? To 90 speed. But anyway, let me go ahead and pick them. Okay, so it says right here, the t uh, welcome, to, welcome to the campaign, team captain. Your team captain is the leader of your team, one of the best player items in the game. So think about that. And one of the best player items in the game. So that just tells you right there, these, these key team captains and juice, which I spoke about before. So that's even more good to know that they actually said it right here. He is upgradable to an 89 overall and he will receive even more upgrades in the future. Keep upgrading them throughout the year and he will eventually reach 99 overall. Okay, that's good. I can go ahead and quick sell that, 25 coins. And let me go ahead and uh, upgrade them. Okay, here we go. Pretty nice. Five training. So all you need, so all together, all you need is 20 training. And I got that, like nothing. Simple. Before it would, it would have been, you had to complete a lot of uh, sets and so forth. And well, not a sets, a lot of games and do other things in order to get his token in order to upgrade them. I'm glad they made it this simple. Guaranteed 89 overall as soon as you get them. They give you tons of training as you're grinding these solos out. I got the 180 train. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't quick sell nothing or anything. I got that all from doing solos, just to let you guys know. So that was free. And I am gonna quick sell some cards, but not right now though. But yeah, that's where I got that from. So let's see right here. Wow, only 10 training? No way. What? Five training? Oh wow. Whoa. Bro, we're lining out the outside. Oh, yeah, we definitely going to use it. I didn't know it was going to be that cheap. Oh, he gets all Team Kims, right? So we're going to put Cowboys. Oh, so we all. Oh, so they're not even charging us for this. Oh, wow. He's so. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Times three any Team Kims right off the start. So there it is. There it is. Equipped them. Okay. Wow. So now let's uh let's see what X Factor when it wins. Rat catches versus single coverage. Uh, possession catches high success rate on stiff arm truck post catch high fake out on skill moves following the catch increased chance to break the first post catch tackle double win aggressive catch for single coverage ah oh, man which I'm gonna get I want this one I want double me I'll, I'll use a 10 training for that and this one's gonna be 5 training that's crazy um most likely, I'm probably gonna get the outside apprentice. I wish he got. I, I, I wish he got. Was a oh, wide receiver apprentice, but you know, I think it's a little bit too early for him to be getting that. But that would actually be nice. Mid in elite. Uh, second win, no. So when would he get? This is wide receiver apprentice. No, it's slot apprentice. Playmaker. Wide receiver apprentice. So he has to get a nice 96 overall. Okay. So I am going to get the outside apprentice because it will come in handy in games. So that's what I am going to use. Hey, that's got only five training, huh? I think these are the only guys that actually, I don't think the other, I think the other ones are going to be a lot more trained. 
So they actually hook, they hook it up. That's actually pretty nice. So here's his stats. 88 speed. Mind you, once I build the Dallas Cowboy theme team, I will do a video on that and show you his stats. They're going to be even more juice, probably like 10 times juice. But his speed on that is going to be a 90 speed. So that's actually going to be uh, kind of cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. But anyways, he got right now, right now, just standard card, just powered up. 88 speed, 84 acceleration, I mean, 84 jumping, 87 catching, which is great. 86 catching traffic, 88 spectacular, 87 short route run, 87 media. Look at these stats are insane. 89 deep route run. I, I, I remember, mind you, I've been playing these solos the whole time and I haven't even used this card. I can't wait to even play them in a solo, right? More or less online because the receivers I have are pretty decent. But when I'm out there, like, it, I, like I figured that they could do more because the low, oh, even though they're fast, their overall is a little bit low. So therefore, their route running and all that is not all that great. So yeah, so now I'm, I have a way better receiver. So he's six foot. Okay. Let's see what else you got. 89 acceleration, 86 awareness. So we said all that. Stamina is 88. Change of direction is 87. Carry is 75. Okay. Spin move is 81. All that juke move is great though. 86 juke move. 88 spectacular. So 77 break tackle. That's, that's all right. 82 return. Eh, it's pretty decent. Nothing, nothing uh, extravagant. Man, what is this? It. Okay. So the stats. So there's no stats available because I haven't used them. So that's good. It shows that. So let's check, see how he looks with the, against our other receivers real quick. So you're gonna see. I got Moss, which Moss is actually pretty decent. He actually does pretty good. But like I said, he he's not. He's fast. But he's not as fast as Lance Outworth is going to be. CD Lamb is decent too. So we picked him up. We picked him up. So he's going to actually be able to do some damage. This DK Metcalf is actually real good. I haven't got rid of him yet. Eventually I will. And he's actually a quick sell. But I'm using it right now. But eventually I'm going to get rid of him because you know, I'm going to quick sell him. But he could go to 88 speed if you actually power him up. So this is actually a decent card. And he's actually been making a lot of plays for me. Adam Thielen, I used him here and there. He's actually pretty good at catching, not too fast. His route run is actually pretty deep too, but he's slow. Calvin really is actually who I'm using. I use him here and there, um, but I usually depend more on DK Metcalf. And now I'm going to depend on, of course, CeeDee Lamb and Lance Outward. But CeeDee Lamb, I just added. I haven't even used him yet. So, yeah, there it is there. That's, that's, that's how he's looking. Now let's go ahead and add him to the squad because we powered him up. But anyways, that, that that's how you guys that's how you power them up. Just in case you guys want to know, that's how you power them up. That's how you do it. I mean, I got tons of videos coming for you guys. Tons of stuff. Like I, I can't wait. All the stuff I have planned for you guys. Little by little, I'm gonna trickle them out. So where are we gonna put this? I, I have to put him right here, right? Yeah, he has to go on the. Yeah, he has to go right there. And so, DK Metcalf. Yeah, let's put let's put C Lamb right there and see how that goes. I can always change the mount in the game if I need to. But yeah, see, this is gonna be like my street guy, especially when it comes to solos and stuff. So I'm gonna use him for that. I'm definitely gonna need to get a full back. But yeah, I kept Joey jo Joel Botino because I do. I mean, he's a decent left guard for now. But another reason why he's a quick side, I want to get rid of him. But I'm holding on to him until I get a better uh, left guard. We'll see what goes through. Like I said, I haven't really went through my team and actually really upgraded it the way I want to. Like I said, I got coins and stuff, but I want to make sure I make the right moves. And it's taking it's taking a process, you know. But I want to make sure that whatever I come out with, I'm, I'm showing you guys how to do it and making the right decisions. But anyways, there it is there. That's how you fully power up your team captain. Pick whoever you want, whoever you need for your squad. Add whatever team Kim you had. As you can see, it don't take a lot of training. And it also don't take a lot of training to add abilities and... And X Factor, so that, that's actually pretty cool. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it right there. If you guys like what you're seeing, drop a like. If you guys ain't subscribed to the channel, there will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.